Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Wednesday's episode of Emmerdale, ITV, 7.30 p.m. Check our TV guide for full listings. Features Caleb Milligan, who experiences a startling fall. He reaches out to Nate Robinson for assistance. Since Nate found out Caleb had been having an affair with his wife Tracy, the two had not been on speaking terms. Nate dumped Tracy and disowned his uncle as a result of the terrible betrayal. And Caleb's tumultuous relationship with Ruby Fox Milligan has also deteriorated. In the meantime, Ruby has been fighting to hang on to her boyfriend by making trouble for almost every member of the Dingle family. Ruby hasn't been able to win over her brother-in-law Kane Dingle thus far. He was furious that during their most recent altercation, Caleb seemed to side with her rather than his. Ruby is optimistic that Caleb's support of her indicates his commitment to their marriage, even though things with Kane are worse than they have ever been. Will she eventually discover, nevertheless, that blood is thicker than water? In another scene, a sick Caleb shows up at the doctor's looking for an urgent appointment. Sadly, Manpreet Sharma is too busy to see him, therefore he won't be able to acquire one. Caleb soon succumbs to his agony while traveling home, collapsing in the middle of the hamlet. Caleb is discovered by Nate and Sam Dingle shortly after. To Nate's surprise, his sworn nemesis is lying on his back, screaming for assistance. Will Nate put the past behind him and support Caleb in his time of need, or will he turn his back and let him suffer alone? Charles Anderson, who lives across the hamlet, determines it's time to turn Manpreet into an honest woman. Ever since his mother Claudette mentioned that the bishop would prefer it if the vicar was married, the vicar has been under pressure to pop the question. Charles surprises Manpreet by dropping down on one knee and proposing to her during a supper at the Woolpack. The doctor feels under pressure to accept as everyone is staring at her, and an ecstatic Gil Loman tells the bar about their joyful news. Will Manpreet, though, regret accepting? Marlon Dingle is also making every effort to divert Rona Goskirk's attention from her impending trial. The veterinarian is scheduled to appear in court on charges of snatching infant Ivy Malcolms. Will the jury accept Rona when she says she's not a criminal and was simply acting in self-defense to defend the little girl who is her biological child? Tuesday night's episode of Emmerdale, ITV, 7.30 p.m., see our TV guide for full listings. Features Caleb Milligan, who decides to side with his wife Ruby over his family out of a desire for love. Ruby is determined to win the Dingles over and restart her marriage to Caleb. She isn't giving up. She begs her reticent sister-in-law Chas to assist her in organizing the family's spontaneous get-together at the Woolpack out of desperation. Everyone shows up at the pub, including a confused Caleb, but when Kane, Ruby's sworn nemesis, realizes he's been tricked into going, he becomes furious. After the affair between Caleb and Kane with Nate's wife Tracy was made public, their love was never truly lost. However, following a heated exchange of words, the brothers' relationship seems to be warming up quickly. What will Nate think of his father pardoning the man who ruined his marriage? Midway through their conversation, Kane and Caleb are stopped by an inebriated Rudy, taking the mic for a karaoke session. A few moments later, Ruby is pleading with Caleb for forgiveness as total anarchy breaks out at the party. Caleb stands up to support his wife and makes it obvious whose side he has picked when the Dingles turn on Ruby once more. Will he live to regret making that choice? Belle spending so much time with Vinnie Dingle and the pets is making jealous Tom King unhappy. Vinnie kindly offers to watch Piper when Belle is called in to help at work. But when the dog disappears, chaos ensues. Like he was supposed to, Tom steps in to save the day and is slyly amused when Belle lashes out at Vinny for not watching Piper more closely. The dog's disappearance soon causes the two's bond to reach a breaking point. 
is there, however, more to the story than meets the eye. The bishop pays a visit to Charles Anderson, the town vicar, in another scene. Charles ends up hinting to the bishop that he and the doctor intend to get married, obviously hurt by Claudette's remarks about him and Manpreet not being married. But is that really what they both want? Rona Goskirk of Emmerdale worries that she might be imprisoned if her trial devolves into complete anarchy in this Thursday's episode, ITV, 7.30 p.m. Check our TV guide for complete listings. Rona has been dreading this day for weeks as she goes to court to answer the accusations related to the kidnapping of infant Ivy Malcolms. When Rona learned that her ex-husband Gus planned to move Ivy hundreds of miles away to France, she sees the toddler, who is biologically hers. As the proceedings get underway, Gus is pulling off his typical ruse of distorting the truth about what actually transpired, all the while his ex-wife is looking on in complete shock at what he's done. When Rona's best friend Vanessa Woodfield is ready to take a stand and provide her side of the tale, the defense team fights back by casting doubt on Gus's moral integrity. Rona dares to hope that things are changing. But will Vanessa be caught off guard by the slight questions posed by the prosecution? While April Windsor worries about what could be happening to her stepmother, Patty Kirk is doing everything he can to divert her attention in the Woolpack. Sadly, he fails at the first hurdle when some locals spark a public discussion about Rona's case, which has no positive effect on April's stress levels. It's Rona's chance to testify back in the courtroom. But the distraught mother loses her cool and yells at Gus as the prosecution starts to pick apart her. When the judge has had enough, the day is adjourned. Gus is too proud of Rona's public outburst and is inconsolable over her pain. Rona is overcome with regret over it. In the meantime, there is a heated discussion in the Woolly. However, April puts the townspeople to shame by pointing out that the jury has no chance of success if even Rona's friends cannot agree on whether she is guilty or innocent. Carrie Wyatt is in over her head somewhere else. Kez had promised to pay for her daughter Amy's upcoming wedding to Maddie Barton, but she is having trouble coming up with the funds, even though she has a hidden hoard of cash and jewelry that she took during her time on the cruise ship. In times of need, drastic actions are necessary, and Carrie understands that giving up her cherished diamond necklace is the only option. Will she have time to locate a buyer? According to Emmerdale spoilers for next week, Rona's trial for kidnapping Ivy will begin, and Gus will be enjoying seeing her lose her cool in court. What verdict will the jury reach? In another instance, Charles drops down on one knee and asks Manpreet to marry him after Claudette gives him the notion. But is he asking the appropriate question when he does so? Emmerdale spoilers for next week include all of this and more. As Rona goes to court to stand trial for Ivy's kidnapping, she fears the worst because Gus is manipulating the facts. Subsequently, Vanessa stands up to try and save Rona's reputation. Rona loses control and begins to act erratic as she attacks Gus as the prosecution focuses on her. Rona regrets losing her calm following the day's events, especially because Gus enjoyed seeing her suffer. Rona is a nervous wreck as she waits to hear from the jury since her family is concerned about her future. What choice will they make? Emmerdale's cane smashing air fryers. Ruby is attempting to gain the support of her husband's family, but Kane lets her know that this won't work before taking Sam's air fryer and destroying it. As Kane takes all three of Ruby's air fryer gifts and proceeds to smash them to pieces, Sam, Lydia, and Ruby look on. As the family gathers in the pub, Chas quickly agrees to aid Ruby in the hopes that harmony might be restored. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.